Okay, cool. Let's see. God hates Esau, so-called white people, period. Oh, these are our friends from the Hebrew Israelite camp. I can already tell. You're the only one who preached this kind of message. God hates Esau, so-called white people. Okay. Alright, Shalom. Let's start off with giving all praise, all honor, and glory to Yahweh. That fake Hebrew language, though. Yahweh, Shalom. That ain't Hebrew. Come on now. Anyhow. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutation to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, teaching this word and truth and sincerity. Okay. Now I'm just planning to get straight to. To be fair, we haven't talked about these guys in a while. You know what I mean? We haven't visited this cult in a while. It's been a while. Should have had my good friend George here by my side. Anyhow. The point. God hates Esau. Okay. God hates you so-called white people. Okay. And we say so-called because you're not white. Okay. You're red. Okay. You have a lack of pigmentation. Okay. Your blood shows forth through your skin. Okay, and God hates you. Okay. Okay, make sure you listen to the scientific evidence that they bring forth. Okay. Just thought I'd uh, add that one in there. We're just gonna lay that straight out there. Okay. Thank you for laying it out. You come from your forefather, Esau. Okay, and we're talking to you, you so-called white people, that are descendants from Esau. Okay, not speaking to the. I love how he's so demanding and he's not, you know, he's telling you that's just who you are, okay? What I say goes, that's the Hebrew Israelite way of speaking. They talk at you. They don't conversate with you. They talk at you. It's like, you know, what we say goes because we know Bible. Shalom. First of all, not Hebrew, but anyhow. The fusion of faces. All right. Let's get straight into scripture okay you got people want to talk about god doesn't hate okay god does hate okay he's not just love okay and also exodus 15 and 3 says what the lord is the man of war and the lord is his name okay exodus the famous scripture Romans. Oh, Romans. Look for Romans. 9 okay. and 13. Okay. Let's jump up. Okay. Predestination chapter. It says, For this, start out verse 9. It says, For this is the word of promise at the time will come, and Sarah will have a son. And not only. Am I watching the whole video? Minutes. This, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or any evil, that the pur purpose of God, according to election, might stand, not of works, but of him to call it. Okay. So neither child was born yet, and they have done anything. But it's who the Most High chooses, who he picks. Okay. It's who he called, okay? And it was said unto her, the elder should serve the younger. That's right, okay? And who who was the oldest out of the two? Out of Jacob and Esau. Esau was the oldest. Okay? Let's continue on. It says okay. as that I as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Okay? Now you gotta ask yourself, you know, you people that claim you know the Bible, who is Esau? Okay, I'll tell you. Esau is a so-called white man. Okay. That's who Esau is. Alright, which people like to say uh uh Again. Just because he says so, he makes it so. Nothing to back that up logically, scientifically, biblically. 
Just because he said so. Just thought I'd put that out there. God doesn't hate, or, or why would he do that? Because he's he's the creator and he could do what he please. Okay? How can you tell uh, uh, the potter, or how can you be the clay and tell the potter, why have you formed me like this? Okay? And it'll, explain, and it'll get right into that. Okay? Verse 14, it says, What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. Right, so is there unrighteousness with God uh, uh, that he loved Jacob but hated Esau? No. Okay? That's just how uh, uh, he wanted this, you know, we like to call it a movie. This is how he just wanted everything to go according to his ways. Okay? For he said, I've had enough of that one already. I'm going to give you my thoughts. Because I'm just assuming that it's just going to spout off a whole bunch of knowledge that he thinks is correct about the so-called white man. Um, and I've heard this argument before. Is that, you know, this all came out red and the whole pigmentation thing and you can see the blood through the color and all that kind of stuff. It's just to justify their claims as to why, you know what? A lot of this just seems like it stems from a racist point of view. It's nothing biblical at all. Because obviously, if we look at a biblical understanding of who God came for and who saved, who salvation is for, salvation is for all, all who call on the name of uh, uh, Jesus. Not Yahawasha. I don't know why they keep using that name. And um, the Bible is very clear that it's not just for Jews, but also for Gentiles. Paul as well, when he even left the Jews and said that he was going to go after the Gentiles. And the, so in the Old Testament, there's a scripture that says, let me read it out. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness and will hold thine hand and will keep thee and give thee a covenant of the people for a light of the Gentiles. And so not only just old, not only just new, but Old Testament prophecy shows that everyone who calls on, on the name of the Lord Jesus, Romans chapter 10, is saved. But there seems to be this doctrine and they pick out scriptures uh, scriptures to say that Jesus only came for the Jews but then they use half a story like the rich man that, that approached Jesus and said um, what must I do to, to uh, inherit eternal life he said keep the laws and the commandments and they use that part and they don't use the rest so in Matthew 15 where he says I am not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel see Jesus only came for the black people but then obviously this woman later on that same story she receives her healing so jesus also came and opened up salvation for all matthew chapter 28 what does it say there he gives the great commission to everyone to all his disciples he says go out to all nations he doesn't say just stay in israel make sure you save the black people because that's where i said that nowhere and um anyhow what i'm trying to make is these people come up with some whack doctrine these black hebrew israelites say you know we're the true israelites we're this we're that we've already covered this a few times in the video so whenever you come across this cult run, run away be blessed